As a Christian, I object to the taking of any life. The Ten Commandments says, Thou shalt not kill. Do I have the right to hold you down by force and plunge a needle into your arm because I think that the fluids I'm injecting into your arm are going to be good for you? Do I have that right? I do not. Your body is the single avenue by which God's Holy Spirit communicates with your brain. It's, effectively speaking, sacred. It doesn't matter whether I'm the county dog catcher or I'm the president of the United States or if I wear a white lab coat or I wear a black judge's robe, I don't have the right to do that to you. It's just simple. To do so would be coercion and assault. Some claim that they have a mandate for you to be vaccinated, but no one has that right. You know, there's exactly one person that has the right to determine what's plunged into your arm, you. Anyone and everyone who would do this without your consent is a criminal. Even if the substance to be injected were indisputably good for you, they can't violate your body. That is God-given. You can't go there. If you're required to receive it by force, physical or verbal pressure, or the threat maybe to disemploy you, a criminal act is being perpetrated against you. In 1929, the Supreme Court upheld the sterilization of a United States citizen named Carrie Buck against her will. The logic stated by Justice Oliver Wendell Holmes was that since they can force you to be vaccinated, they can also force you to be sterilized. Now think about that. If you accept this reasoning, is there anything that the government cannot force you to do? I can recommend a healthier diet for you, or I can recommend that you receive this or that injection. But the moment I say, or you're fired, I've coerced you. There is a higher law.